Whether wrapping the German parliament in a million square feet of fabric, wending 7,500 saffron-colored gates through New York City's Central Park, or proposing to drape sections of the Arkansas River in Colorado with a silvery material, internationally known artists Christo and his late wife Jean-Claude are known for their monumental, temporary works of art. Controversial for some, coveted by others, their work tends to keep people talking years after the art has gone. During a visit to Denver, Christo spoke with us about that and more. All that will be fabric. All that. There will be fabric in the fabric running now. Running all around, all that, 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 that. At least, all that is the artist Christo's hope. He wants sections of the Arkansas River in Colorado to be the site of a large-scale temporary installation called Over the River. Initially proposed in 1992, Over the River has local, state, and federal approval. But a group called Rags Over the Arkansas River has challenged those permits in court, contending the government violated its own management plan and environmental protections when it issued the permits. Rohr's case against the Bureau of Land Management is before the U.S. Court of Appeals in Denver. Do you think that the project will eventually become realized? I cannot mention. Of course I like to be realized, but I cannot be uh, I, I created unnecessary inflammation on public television. That will happen because I should be polite. Christo is no stranger to adversity. During his more than 50-year career, various communities have rejected works he proposed with his late wife, Jean-Claude. Other projects, like the Gates, installed in New York City in 2005, took decades to gain approval. For you, the, the challenges that you face with either people opposing the project or the length of time that it sometimes takes for a project to be realized, the expense, what's the gratifying part of this for you? It's the, the, the life, the, the span, the living is so gratifying. To meet so many people, make so many friends, to see so many different things is so enriching, is so invigorating, is never regretting. It's the very part of the incredible journey. It's not boring at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting and I enjoy that. Of course, somebody, somebody thinks it's a terrible nightmare. The realities that you present in your artwork are so fantastical. I'm curious to ask you, do you dream? What are your dreams like? I, apparently, and everybody dreams, but I don't remember my dreams. I l sleep so well, <laughs> knock on the wood, <laughs> but I need to sleep naked. <laughs> Is that part of the creative yeah, process? Yeah, I cannot, yeah I, I cannot sleep on the airplanes because I hate <laughs> my clothes. So uh, I read on your website that you tend to work 14 hours a day. Yeah. Do not take vacations. No vacation. I have no stool in my studio. You're standing the whole standing time. Standing on that. You're 80 years young, but how are you maintaining this pace? You no, know, because I love to, I, can, I don't like to sit. I love to walk around. I like to move around. I like to see things, touch things. We have an incredible life, you know. His work ethic has facilitated that incredible life. Christo does not accept grants or corporate sponsorships. Instead, the massive, often multi-million dollar temporary installations are funded by the sale of Christo's other artwork. But Christo pointed out the work is not created in a vacuum. And probably this is also the things Jean-Claude and myself would like very much. is not isolated uh, uh, idea of artists in a studio <laughs> painting things, you know. It's a huge sharing process of uh, angst and um, this pleasure, this It's highly collaborative. Yeah, 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 a lot of things and uh, a lot of many, many things, but I like that. Many people hate that probably, but I, I enjoy that. Christo is working on two other projects. The massive Masaba proposed for an area south of Abu Dhabi and the floating piers slated for installation on Italy's Lake Iseo in summer 2016. The floating piers will be his first large-scale work since the gates, and his first without Jean-Claude. Well, we miss him all the time. You know, she was, she was very critical. You know, she was absolutely argumentative and very <laughs> demanding, and we are fighting, and he can be screaming at each other, insulting each other, arguing. You stupid! You don't understand. It should be that way or that way. And probably that is the thing I miss more all the time. I mean, when you have problems, I ask my nephew Vladimir or Jean-Claude's nephew Jonathan, who work in the studio, always what Jean-Claude we think now. With Jean-Claude in mind, Christo's work continues. The work of art is not the, the things. This is why 
the software period, the hardware period, when the work exists only in the mind of the people, and finally, the real thing. All that together is the work of art. This is why is this work carry that energy, that excitement, that discovery, that is not the routine, not like building another skyscraper, another bridge, or another house. They are all different things. And that adventure, that incredible journey is the work of art.